Hi, my name is Ian Murphy, Lead Investigator for the Paranormal Research Association of Boston. In the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to install PCMS from the Paranormal Research Association of Ireland onto your Paranormal Group's website. Okay, you begin by going to either the PRAB or the PRAI's website and downloading PCMS to your computer. Now, once it's downloaded to your desktop, you just have to extract the zip file, just as we're showing here. It's quite a simple task. Now, obviously, we speeded up time a little on all of this. Okay, when it is extracted, just open up the PCMS 1.0 directory. Open up the upload and then select all files in that directory. Now, you've already created a PCMS directory or anything you want to call it on your website. So, with your favorite FTP program, I'm using FileZilla here. Just get all the files and throw them across there. Now, once they're done, you're going to have to make a, a um, SQL database. Now, you can do this. I'm, um, I'm hosted by HostMonster, so this is how we do it here. Just name your database, follow the steps in your SQL database wizard, it's very easy. Now I just put in the name admin, put in anything you want for this, and put in a password. I just threw in a, uh, a quick password there, it's weak. You should always have a very strong password with a lot of uh, numbers, characters, and upper, lower, upper and lower case letters. So just create all privileges. There you are, your setup, your um, user is now, now in there. Now open your directory and you want to find the templates at C and you want to change the file permissions on that to 777. Again using whichever FTP program you're familiar with. Um, this is FileZilla. It's a free, free download and it's very easy to use. After you do templates.c you want to go up and uh, get the files directory and you want to change the permissions on that as well to 775. Remember to put it on all subdirectories as well. Now the install is very easy. Just go to your PCMS directory and go to the install there and it's pretty much automated at this stage. Remember to put in the correct database name, database username, and database password. Um, using localhost is usually how most um, providers give their my, my SQL directory, so it should be all right there. And just continue proceeding with the installation. I'm using Google Chrome on Windows XP SP3. Your experience may vary. Okay, now there we go. Installation is complete. It's very important that you delete the install folder. Because if you don't delete the install folder, this could cause someone else to um, go direct to that folder and that will mess up your installation and you may lose your data. As you see, you have a working version of PCMS. Now you have to get your key. You can get your key by either going to the PRAB or the PRAI's website. Just take that information, put it into an email, and send it on to us. And um, either myself or Ryan will issue you a key. That will move you from 
the standard demo version which only holds 20 records to the non-profit that has unlimited records on it. Now just fill in the information, your name, the name of your organization, the email address that we are going to need to um, send the key.txt file to. Now, if you're looking for a non-profit license, you have to give us your website's address as well. And then any other information that supports your non-profit claim. Now you need to go to the Ion Cubes directory. Um, it's just off your domain slash your PCMS directory for slash ioncube for slash serverinfo.php and just let that file run. Now that gives you the server adapter info and just copy that and put it into the email and put about two lines in between um, the last line and that just so we can have a clean cut of it as you can see there. And then you send you just send that email on to me and I will generate you a file after we verify your nonprofit status. Now you'll get your key in the e in email put it onto your desktop or wherever you want to put it and then just drag it and drop it into the PCM direct S directory. Now you can override the key file that's already in there as that just gives the demo license. As you see, installing it shouldn't be a problem. If you have any questions, feel free to send myself or Ryan an email and we'll be able to help you as much as we can. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful.